Hi, I'm Irene Mayer, your host for Florida Matters. Here's an encore segment from one of our previous episodes. Sue Hines knows a bargain when she sees one. You've got the store coupon here, and you add the manufacturer coupon, and you've got a good deal. The married mother of four turns coupon clipping into an art form. This particular week, uh, these bars right here, you could buy five of them. Um, you'll pay $30, but you'll get a $30 coupon back towards the store so that your next purchase you'll have $30 off. Learning how to stretch a dollar started out as a necessity. In the beginning, like I said, we were living on a first-year teacher's salary when we, first, when we had our, our first child, uh, so we didn't have any wiggle room whatsoever. <laughs> but is now a choice. It's an individual thing. Finance, finances are very personal and they're, they're completely different for everyone. Ah, you got me! Gotcha. I want to be able to order that pizza with my kids. I want to be able to um, sign them up for tennis lessons. I want to have that money and that freedom and the, the lack of worry from knowing that I'm stretching my budget too far. Um, and so I consider taking an hour of my time a week or, or an hour and a half very worth it. Um, the payoff is big if, if you just spend a little time on it. With her husband's handyman skills. We've renovated our bathroom. My husband, for our anniversary, romantic that he is, <laughs> he installed this ceiling fan. And Sue's talent for interior design. I did all the paintings myself. This family of six thrives as a thrifty household. Just because you choose to live thriftily doesn't mean you can't splurge every once in a while. You make your choices so that you can enrich your quality of life in other ways. We chose this place that this was something that was important to us. And the Hines family still manages to go on yearly vacations, never forgetting to pack their smart ideas for savings. This summer, we took a trip to Washington, D.C. We used the metro for transportation. In fact, once we arrived in Washington, we got to our little place with the kitchen. Uh, we did not use our car until we left. We used entirely public transportation, which was a lot of fun. The kids had a blast. And then all of the um, museums and national exhibits were free. With her newfound fame as America's thriftiest mom, Sue Heitz wants to share her tips and techniques for getting the best bang for your buck and enjoying life. She recommends keeping a coupon book to organize your clippings, searching online to discover upcoming sales, and remembering to enjoy the simple things in life. My son uh, Dylan this year uh, had a, a really neat birthday cake and he decorated it with candy corn. I swear there were probably a hundred pieces of candy corn all over this cake, but he had the best time. And then, you know, you invite the friends over and, and they'll just run around the backyard and, and, and have a blast. It is something they will never forget and it doesn't cost a fortune. With unemployment rates at their highest, many Bay Area families have to make do with less. So where do you start? When it comes down to it, money, it's all about numbers. You don't need to add the, the, the anger there. You don't. Just make it about numbers and things are a lot easier to deal with. I think people have this strange idea that they have to have more than they need. <laughs> I think a lot of being thrifty is being aware that you need, you don't need quite as much. <laughs> Obviously a roof over your head, spending time with your family. You want to live simply, you want to appreciate all that you have. We've got the beach, we've got parks, we've got, um, we've got weather that will allow us to be outside year round and do outdoor activities at no cost. Part of my thriftiness and part of my outlook on life is that I try to instill in them an appreciation for the amazing things that we do have. That the most important things in life do not cost a penny. <laughs> Be sure to catch our regular broadcasts of Florida Matters Friday nights at 8 and Sunday mornings at 9.30 on WUSF-TV. Major funding for Florida Matters comes from the Mosaic Company, a leading producer of fertilizer made from phosphate and natural resource found in Florida. Mosaic, helping America grow.